Hey guys, today I want to take a look at some of the history behind Come As You Are. As some of you may know, Come As You Are is the second single which was released from Nevermind, even though there was a bit of hesitance with that, and we'll get into that in a second. Before we do though, I was looking through the internet a second ago, and I came across some cool pictures from behind the scenes when they were doing the Come As You Are video shoot, so I'm going to put those up and we'll get started. As mentioned, Come As You Are was released as the second single off of Nirvana's second record, Nevermind, on March 2nd, 1992. It's the third track on the record and remains one of the band's most popular songs to this day for good reason. It's a very catchy song and in particular, the main riff in Come As You Are is one of the iconic Nirvana riffs, which, as some of you may know, is actually the source of some controversy. Kurt Cobain was initially hesitant about releasing Come As You Are as the band's second single because certain aspects of that song, and in particular the main riff in Come As You Are, sound very similar to the main riff in Killing Joke's song, 80s, which was released back in 1984. Jordy Walker, Killing Joke's guitarist, has stated publicly that he was not happy about the situation with Come As You Are, and there were even rumors going around at one point that Killing Joke had filed a lawsuit against Nirvana. Things did eventually smooth over, however, so much so that Dave Grohl recorded the drum parts on Killing Joke's 2003 self-titled record, Killing Joke. So now going back to the song itself. Come As You Are was recorded with Butch Vig at Sound City Studios in May of 1991 as part of the Nevermind sessions. As you may remember from one of my other videos I mentioned, in April of 1990, when Chad Channing was still in the band, Nirvana recorded 10 songs with Butch Vig in Madison, Wisconsin, and 8 of those 10 songs were re-recorded for Nevermind. Come As You Are was not one of the songs that they had recorded with Butch Vig in 1990, so the May of 1991 session was the first time that they recorded that song with Butch Vig. As mentioned, Come As You Are is one of Nirvana's most popular songs, Butch Vig himself having said that Come As You Are is one of his personal favorites from Nevermind. Now, one of the signature elements of Come As You Are is the guitar pedal effect, which gives the song somewhat of a psychedelic feel. According to Butch Vig, Kurt Cobain used the same effect pedal on his guitar for Come As You Are that he did on Smells Like Teen Spirit, Nevermind's first single which was released on September 10th, 1991. In terms of the meaning behind Come As You Are, as is the case with most Nirvana songs, there are a lot of interpretations as to what the song means. Butch Vig has stated that he believes that Come As You Are is a song about, quote, misfits. You're cool no matter how screwed up you are. Come As You Are is an ode to accepting someone for who they are, end of quote. On the drive into Kurt Cobain's hometown, Aberdeen, there is a sign that greets you as you drive in which says, Welcome to Aberdeen, Come As You Are. Of course, an ode to Kurt Cobain and Nirvana. Interestingly, however, in somewhat of a contrast to Bush Vig's interpretation of what the song means, Kurt Cobain has said that the song is about, quote, people and what they're expected to act like. So in other words, it's not really about accepting someone for who they are. It's more a commentary about people who just go with what they're told to do. This is at least what Kurt Cobain has said publicly. But as we know, there are many interpretations of Nirvana songs. And Kurt Cobain has been known to sometimes, you know, throw a curveball and say something that's not necessarily true when it comes to his meanings of the lyrics. Furthermore, Nirvana had actually at one point considered naming their record Sheep instead of Nevermind. Sheep being a reference to people who do what they're told and follow the herd. Which adds some credibility to the notion that Come As You Are is about people who just do what they're told to do. Even though the name of the song, Come As You Are, implies the opposite is true, such as Butch Vig's interpretation. So this song is a great example of how there is a lot of room for interpretation when it comes to Nirvana songs. It's also not precisely clear as to what exactly the lyrics mean. However, as many of you know, Kurt Cobain has said on many occasions that he put much more emphasis on the musical instrumentation in his songs rather than the lyrics. The lyrics, in his own words, were not as important. Take it what you will, maybe he's exaggerating, but nevertheless, it's fun to analyze these things, so here we go. Some of the lyrics in the first chorus of Come As You Are are deliberately contradictory. As a friend, as an old enemy. Take your time, hurry up. The opening lyrics in the second verse of the song, Come Dows in Mud, Soaked in Bleach, were inspired from a campaign that was launched in Seattle, which encouraged heroin users to soak their needles in bleach in order to reduce the risk of spreading HIV. The exact phrasing for the campaign was, quote, if doused in mud, soak in bleach, end quote. Interestingly, the title of Nirvana's first record, Bleach, was inspired in an almost identical fashion. 
Their debut record, Bleach, was originally going to be titled Too Many Humans. While Nirvana was driving through San Francisco in the late 80s, however, Kurt Cobain came across a poster advising heroin users to bleach their needles in order to prevent the spread of HIV. Bleaching needles is, of course, kind of a morbid thing to draw inspiration from, but, of course, much of Nirvana's music drew inspiration from darker subject matter, especially on Bleach. If you guys are interested, as some of you may already know, I've made a video about every single song on Bleach, what the backstory is, the history behind each song, etc. Those are all on my channel, and I've made one long video combining all of them together, so you have an entire documentary about the whole record. If you want to see that, it is linked in the description box below. Musically, I think Come As You Are is a unique song in Nirvana's catalog because it really explores Nirvana's psychedelic rock influence. As mentioned in one of my previous videos, Nirvana's first ever single was Love Buzz, which of course is a cover. The original recording of Love Buzz is a psychedelic rock song by the band Shocking Blue, and even in Nirvana's version, you can hear elements of psychedelic rock coming through. For a band which is often categorized simply as grunge, Nirvana's music actually explores a wide range of different musical territory. The music video for Come As You Are was directed by Kevin Kerslake, who also directed Nirvana's videos for Sliver, In Bloom, and Lithium. The music video for Come As You Are has a very surrealistic, psychedelic feel to it, much like the song itself. One part of the video where the water is falling in front of the band and distorting the images of the members of the band, that was Kurt Cobain's idea. Now, as massively popular of a song that Come As You Are is, it actually didn't do spectacularly well in the Billboard charts. It peaked at number three on both the U.S. mainstream rock and U.S. alternative rock charts, which, of course, getting to number three is already a huge accomplishment. But you would think for a song as big as Come As You Are, from a band like Nirvana who were at the height of their fame at that point, that it would have been able to break number one, but it didn't. As a matter of fact, with the exception of the U.S. AOR Tracks chart in 1992, Come As You Are didn't reach the number one spot on any of the major charts in the U.S., Canada, or Europe, which, to be honest, I was pretty surprised when I first learned that. But of course, as we know, where a song charts is not in any way indicative of its artistic merit, and Come As You Are has proven to become one of the most popular songs of the 90s, irrespective of which genre you're talking about. In addition to the Nevermind version of Come As You Are, Nirvana also performed a rendition of Come As You Are on their MTV Unplugged performance, and a demo version of Come As You Are was released as part of the Sliver, the Best of the Box compilation record. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more. All the videos on my channel are original. I'm the one conducting all the interviews, doing all the editing, and doing all the filming. So if you guys like what you see and you want to support, then all honesty, the best way is just to subscribe. Thanks for watching.